So here's the towel. If I catch on fire, you call out my name, say uh, the body part that's on fire. Make sure that I have your attention. Do not move it, do not pat it, because that'll just make the flames go big. <laughs> Jake, aka Jaws FPV, is here, fire poi expert. We've got the free fly wave, and he's gonna do some fire poi, and we're using the wave to kind of capture that in slow motion, get the of the flames going by. And then if we get lucky with light, we're gonna switch over to the fenster. We've got a bunch of LED panels. Those things make big fireballs. So we're just gonna try to get some cool shots. Let's have you like kind of in the middle of the road here. Got some leaning lines back there. It's like it's not super bright out. Like everything's running. This is like the lowest that I want to run everything. So I'm hoping that the fire itself actually exposes itself better than this is right now. Oh, this is so sick. Enjoy. I'm gonna open it move though. We'll just see what happens once he lights them up and just kind of hope for the best. What we've done is we've got the rely on powering four LED panels. Jacob's gonna stand in the middle of all of these panels and fire spin. And I'm gonna try to use the fenster with the wave to kind of just like orbit and do cool moves and try to get some sick slow-mo shots. I think we have too little light already, but it's worth taking a crack at it. We'll light them as close to the time as when we take off because that's when they're the brightest. And if we get something, great. If we don't get anything, also great. That's an experiment. So this only goes up to 2.8, F2.8, but this 50 mil, goes to 1.4 so it's like three or four stops brighter and I could just stay wider and do the same thing and maybe it'll work we'll see it's fine it's fine it's fine uh, this thing is really loud so cool Okay, so it's way too dark, but we are freaking on to something. Look at it! It looks like a freaking. <laughs> How sick does that look? Because the fire is properly exposed and you can see him glowing orange. Oh my gosh. Just do one more take with more camera angle on that. More camera angle and the 50, I think. And I'll stay way wide and yeah, just. Yeah, get outside the light. Yeah. Let's do that. You lit up perfect. Describe what you're seeing, man. What you got? We just made art, dude. I just, like, everything is, it's perfectly focused. It's a little underexposed, which is totally okay because we knew what we were getting into. But you, it's just crazy camera movement, nice and slow. Oh! Oh, you got that thing in focus? What? Or in frame? <laughs> that actually worked. I Honestly, I didn't think this was going to work, but that, holy sh Oh, dude. Does that not look gnarly? That looks like one of those, like, the where you have multi-camera angle yes. setups, but it's smooth. Like. Yes, that's the goal. This is the dream right here. Holy oh, okay. crap, holy crap, yeah. Get, get back up there, man. 
I want to give my thanks to the Rely On team and the Rely On Outlaw 1072 for totally enabling this entire shoot. Like, couldn't do it without this. It's so perfect to power all of these lights and keep us in the air getting some cool stuff. And this isn't even that slow. This is only uh, 400 FPS. Only 400 FPS. Like, but like when you see the lights in the background like that, that's the stuff. That's where I see the potential. But yeah, see, like once all that comes into play, that totally makes it for me. Dude, what? Oh my god, it looks unreal. <laughs> <laughs> that's just one moment from this whole thing. And I did that shot, like or versions of that shot, like 30 times. Okay, cool. So we're trying to figure out where to set the focus on the camera. So basically, the last time it was a little bit too close for most of the shots. So like I would be coming around and you wouldn't be able to see. Like Jake would be fuzzy because I was the drone was too far from Jake. But because it was a manual focus lens and because it's such a shallow depth of field at 1.4 aperture, we have to figure out how to split the difference and kind of get a little bit lucky. Luckily, we have a long time to capture each moment, right? So like all I have to do is hit Jake for a half second and I get, you, you know, 200 and something frames, which is like five, six, seven seconds of good usable footage. And those are all the only kinds of moments that I really need for this video to work. Uh, I felt good about camera tilt though, so we'll leave that. I have been worried that this wouldn't work out the way that I wanted it to, and it's uh, pretty close to what I wanted it to be, and I'm so stoked about what the potential could be. I'm so fired up right now. <laughs> So we've got the shot, but as you can see, I still got quite a bit of fuel on these, so just getting some practice in while I let it burn out. It's the easiest way. I'd rather do that than leave a whole bunch of fuel on here. Oh yeah, let's see this shit. <laughs> I should get the towel. Safety towel. Should I have tried this without the fire first? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so close to my face. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed your video and that you come back for more. Uh, thanks so much to Jake for offering his fire poi skills and late night, actually not even late night, it's still literally within 30 minutes of Civil Twilight and I'm not just saying that because of the FAA. <laughs> Uh, for coming out and helping us film this video. So thanks very much for uh, everything. Jake's putting his life on the line, so be sure to like and subscribe and check out store.narc.tv for some merch. See you guys on the next one. Stay flying. <gasps> Goodbye.